Christine Beauty 101. Welcome back to my channel. I know, stranger. Yes, I haven't uploaded in about a month and a half, and I am so sorry. I've just been, you know, I wanted to spend the last few weeks with my nieces and nephews, and I also helped um, our lovely neighbors move in. And, you know, I go over there every single morning, um, and I stay over there almost all day till six, five, six in the evening, you know, I help her make sure she's up to take her kids to school. I help her throughout the day. Um, it's really to the point to where me and her and the whole family aren't just, you know, friends anymore. We're technically family. Like she allows her kids to call me aunt, and you know, that's that's really, really big in my opinion um, because we were strangers and now we're amazing friends, best friends and, you know, family at that because I do look at her as a sister and everything like that. And it's just really, really good to have people like that to come across into your life. Um, and I've really, really, really been pretty down in the dumps and depressed. Um, my brother moved back to Maryland, so that really, really hits me. Um, this is the first time me and him's actually been, you know, separated. So it is really, really hard knowing that he's 21 plus hours from me. Um, but I know he is doing well. Um, he just got his permit. He got the job and everything like that within the first week of him being back down there. Um, so I am super proud of him, um, but, you know, battling with keeping the house clean and everything like that, making dinner, and then, you know, helping her because I do it because I want to, because I enjoy it, and, you know, like, she talks to me, I talk to her, and stuff like that, so we can talk about things and, you know, support each other and everything like that, um, but yeah, like I've really been down in the dump. I haven't felt like myself. Um, but I am here. I am okay. And I am fighting it. Um, I did go up on a diet. Um, and I've been exercising every single morning. Um, so that does pretty much help boost up my confidence. Um, I did go and dye my hair. <laughs> yes, y'all. I did, even though I said I didn't want to, but I did. I did do blonde up here, and down here is a temporary red. Um, I have to apply it um, every six weeks, or if it gets super lighter, I will add more red into it. Um, but I came across some wish list items from Dollar Tree, y'all. Oh, yes, honey, yes. I did. I was so thrilled finding all the things that I have found. Um, but let's just go ahead and jump into this instead of me rambling on for almost five minutes. Um, but before we do that, I am going to show you what I do have on my face. It's really something super simple. I literally just threw this stuff on just to get up on here. Um, but I do miss you guys so much. And I do want to thank the ones who have asked me if I am doing okay, um, worrying about me since I haven't been on so long. I do want to thank you guys so much for um, checking up on me and everything and if you guys are new or you just came across this video and you would love to watch more make sure you like comment subscribe give this video a thumbs up also hit that notification bell so you know when I can upload another video for y'all okay so um I do have the wet and wild brow kit and this is an ash brown use this one all the time um and then i am wearing the warm sun and beauty benefits glow contour um 
I am wearing um, Peach Pony and Beauty Contour Blush. And then my pressed powder is the usual Wet n Wild Warm Light. And then I am using the Beauty Bar Fix Afterglow for my highlighter. And I am using Twilight, which is this pretty white highlight, which I really love this one. You only need to put a little bit on and it is so much on, like so much. But that's my absolute favorite. And I am using Wet n Wild Perfect pear eye wand and this one is what color I have no idea what color this one is but that's what this looks like I am just using the liquid eyeshadow on my eye and the eyeliner on my lower lash and my lip color is called one fine day from Broadway Matte. I love this shade. That shade's one of my favorites. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the Dollar Tree haul. There will be quite a few swatches to do. Um, but I am going to do the usual. Excuse me. Mm, excuse me. The usual food items that I get. Um, this is Sun Best Fiber Boost Chocolate, 90 calories. Um, I've got these ones before. I really do like these. These are really, really good. And this is the calories on the back if you guys are interested in it. And I did get some more so natural freeze strawberries these are so good I love snacking on these um, these are really good then I picked up three of the mixed berries these are really good these ones are so my favorite I like you know, just eating them plain or putting them in plain yogurt or um, in some cereal. I got another strawberry. And then I also got three apple slices as well. Like, they're really a good snack, and they're only 60 calories, and there's no sodium in it, um, no cholesterol. Um, I mean, there's 8% sugar, but these are just really, really good, so I can't complain. Okay, on to the next snack. Okay, so they had quite a few of these facial wipes but I have so many wipes it's really not funny um, but I came across ones that seemed interesting from Bellaware um, Beverly Hills and this these ones are sunflower seed oils and you get 32 counts they had um, a whole collection there, but I never seen a sunflower seed oil. So I did want to pick this up and give it a try. Um, I am going to open this because I'm really, I really want to know. Okay. You, you really can't smell the sunflower oil, but they do smell really, really good. And there are 32 accounts. And then I also picked up a green tea oil one. These were the only two I really wanted out of the other ones because, like I said, I have so many facial wipes. I just wanted to get ones that I didn't have sense of that looked really yummy to try, you know. 
So, I came across these deodorants. Finally, y'all. I did. I finally came across these. Um, if you guys noticed, I did come across um, the other two that the Power Stick had. Um, I'm not 100% sure what they were. I know one was, um, I want to say Lily and Ponies, but I could be wrong. Um, but I did finally come across the Cucumber Mint, and I'm so excited to try these. I did get three of them, but I'm so excited to try these ones because um, Cucumber is one of my favorite scents. I love the smell of it. Um, like, it is one of my favorites, y'all. And I can't lie about it, y'all you know? <laughs> and also, I came across these, which these are pretty cool. Um... You know, I really have no idea what these are, but I did pick up two of these and I am going to open up one to show you guys. This, they're called Winter Lily and they fight odor. Um, But they look pretty good, and they're from Secrets. So I did get two of these. Um, let me know if you tried these or came across these, because this was the first time I came across them. And like I said, I'm going to open up one and let you know what they are. Okay. So I'm assuming these are deodorants because it says reduce underarm wetness. So these have to be deodorants. But we're gonna open up one right now, y'all, okay? I just think it is so cute. The packaging is so cute. Like, look at this. It is just adorable. Like it is so cute. Yeah, it's definitely a deodorant and one of these little balls. They are definitely on the go. Um, so instead of, you know, wanting to carry a whole one of these, this will be really awesome to carry, which I do think this is just adorable. It's different. It's new. And I'm definitely going to give it a swirl and see how it goes okay so this one was one of my wish list um, I've seen so many of my beautiful um, subscribers haul this and I really wanted to try it um, it's Sassian cheek critical remover with um, aloe vera and it is a 1.0 fluent ounce I did want to try this and I was super glad I finally came across it. It's been a long time, but I have came across it. Um, this is from Bolero Beverly Hills and it's no break. It's hair, mash quill, mango butter, and castor seed. I wanted to give this one a try because this one was new. Um, I am going to definitely open it to smell it. It is sealed. It definitely smells really, really good. I do like using these. Um, I mean, the last one I did use, I really had to go back and forth with a different product because it was drying out my hair so much, but I do like giving them a try. 
And this one also from the same one, Beverly, Bloreal Beverly Hills. This is Tighten Up Hair Massage, Almond Butter and Honey. So this one, this one I'm really, really thrilled about trying. Um, and I'm super excited to try. Numb and smells really, really good. It smells really good. I like that one. It's really hard to smell, but I do have hand sanitizer on, so I'm smelling more of my hand sanitizer on than I do the actual products. Okay, so I was super excited I came across these. Um, these are so fresh, so clean, and it is made for him and her, and these are drying lotions. Young, cool now, um, and it is one fluent ounce. Now I know this brand is pretty pricey. Um, I don't know how much these would be if I got them in Walmart or Target, um, but I would probably say around $5. I'm not 100% sure, but I know these are not worth um, a dollar. I can tell you that right now. I'm going to open it so I can show you mm, what it looks like. Okay, so it draws out, um, It draws out, y'all, I cannot read that. It is just so small, but um, it's for blemishes, and that's what this looks like. I'll zoom in so y'all can read that, but I'm really supposed to be wearing my glasses, you guys, and that print is just so small. Yeah, this is definitely um, for acne. It is in a lotion form. Ooh, Ooh it's strong, y'all. Ooh. It does come with a little hole right there. But yeah, you can definitely smell the facial clean in this product, but it is super strong. Let me know if you guys tried it. Um, and also let me know if you guys like it or dislike it in the comments down below. Okay, so I came across this Mangalow Lip Gloss. And this is a Limit, ed limit Edition. And this is called Jade. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, sparkly color I will swatch it it looks so pretty now there was only this one I came across oh the packaging is so cute look at the metallic gems up here it is just so pretty you guys There is no smell to it. It's technically clear with, it has a little green, green tint to it with the glitters. Very, very pretty. So pretty. Yes, honey. Okay, so I also came across some more Wet n Wild. Um, 
Now, I did come across the highlighter Blood in Wilds from Mega Cushion that I've hauled in my one of my last Dollar Tree hauls. I came across um, this kind of color concealer. I love these from Wet n Wild. They are amazing. This is in the color yellow. Um, Jalun, I think that's how you pronounce that name. But I will let y'all see it. And then I also came across another color corrector, and this is in green, and this is in vert. Super excited to try them out. Let me know if you guys find, found them in your Dollar Tree, because I was super excited when I found them in mine. And then you guys... I came across two hard candy fox in a box. Um, they're both the same, um, but I did pick up two of them. And this is in Girl Next Door. I'm super excited. I will open up one and swatch it. These are supposed to smell like strawberries. I was so excited I came across these. They had so many of the strawberry ones. I wish they would have had different ones because I do have this one from Hard Candy that I did come across in um, Dollar Tree a few years ago. This one is called Uptown Girl. Um, and this one's just very, very pretty. I'll swatch this one too if you guys aren't familiar with this or you haven't came across this one in your Dollar Tree a few years ago but that one's really really pretty it's super light though you can definitely use it as um, a highlighter instead of a blush it's fighting me right now y'all it is mm. <clears throat> Okay, so it does come with the hard candy brush, and I really don't use them, like, at all. And they just had it stuck right there. And then you close it, and it looks like that. It's just so adorable. I love the packagings to these. These are amazing, and this is really, really a good deal coming across these in there because I do want to say these range from 8 to $10 if you get them in Walmart or Target. Um, but I'm not smelling a strawberry smell, but it is very, very pretty. Very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. I love these type of blushes. Um, they are one of my favorites. Yeah, I don't smell no strawberry, but that color is gorgeous you guys look at that gorgeous let me get some makeup remover wipes i am at 23 minutes and i still have so much to show you guys so much but yes i did get two of them um i don't know if i'm going to keep the other one or give it away for a Christmas gift. But this bag right here, y'all, is filled with some great goodies. A lot on my wish list. Okay, so, I was super excited to find these socks. These socks are from Bellar, Bevelar Hill Polo Clubs. Um, I came across four pairs. Um, polo, Polo Club, they're definitely more than a dollar. And you got two pairs in each one. So I was super excited for that. And they are 
five to nines. I found these cute unicorns, unicorn ones, and then the second pair has a whole bunch of, um, what are these called? Y'all, I'm having a dud moment right now. I cannot think. Um, sprinkles. There you go. But these are just so cute. And to find this brand in the Dollar Tree is definitely a steal. And then the other pair has little koalas on it. So cute. And the other one is just plain stripes and pink. Love it. Y'all know pink is my favorite color. And then these ones has a cute little um, doggy on them. And it's just neon, green, blue, and pink. Super pretty. And then this one is just pink, blue, and neon. So cute. And they are all the same size. And they're all from the same brand. And then these ones have a cute little, um, I don't know if that's supposed to be a porcupine or something else, but in my opinion, it looks like a porcupine. But let me know what that animal is. And then plain stripe ones there, which is so cute. So cute, y'all. Getting a little warm in here. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, I came across so many things in here, you guys. So many things. Okay. So, I came across some um, facial masks from. Beller Beverly Hills and this one is Jensen and Jasmine um, Sue's release and strengthens it is a face mask and then I this one is in balance this one is stay soothe they did have about 10 different options, but I only wanted to get to the ones I really, really wanted to try that I would like. This one is in green tea and lavender, and this is calm, soothe, and softens. You get, there are one facial treat mask in these. So I'm super excited to give this one a try. Now this one is called detox and this is charcoal and green tea tone revive restore I really want to give this one a try right here super excited to try them so that is the three I picked up now you guys these ones were right here I was so excited to come across um, they're Yes to tomatoes. This is clear skin. This is um, detoxifying and hydrating. Black and white charcoal, yang and yang paper. Um, and you get one in here. I picked up two of these. Now, just for one of these alone, if you get these in Walmart or Target, they will be 4 to $5. So coming across Yes to Tomatoes in the Dollar Tree, I would definitely recommend to pick them up in there. Um, if you want to give them a try or if you've tried these and you do like them, um, check your Dollar Tree if you have not came across these because it will save you for almost five dollars so most definitely give them a try and then I'm a little I was a little bummed because I only came across one of these and it's also yes to and this is in grapefruit um vibrance boosting for lecherous hair with vitamin c brightening and it's hair clay mask 
same thing four or five dollars in Walmart or Target just for a yes to brand. Um, I've never seen this before, so I do want to give this a try. Um, you leave this in your hair for three to five minutes. Um, it is safe for um, color treated hair. So keep that in mind if you wanted to try it. Like I said, look in your Dollar Tree before you spend the four or five dollars on one in Walmart or Target. And then I also came across some more, yes, two tomatoes. And these are clear skin. Um, it's for all skin types. It's detoxifying charcoal peel off mask. I did get two of these as well. I love face masks and these just look really, really fun to use. Then I came across these and these I thought would be super interesting. These are um, what are these? Oh, these are for brunette colored hair so I ain't going to be able to use these at the moment but these are clarifying and refreshing dry shampoo wipes y'all yes wipes from yes to I got two of these as well so I'm super excited to try these but like I said I can't try them at the moment because of my blonde hair um I didn't know that they were for brunettes till I actually looked at it. It says it right here for brunettes. So I wonder if they have any other ones. Um, but you know, coming across all these different types of Yes To masks was definitely a steal for me. Because like I said, they are pretty pricey. And then I picked up this personal care bikini shave gel for sensitive skin. Um, it's moisturizer formula, won't irritate um, sensitive skin. Um, it's for the bikini area. It's a five fluent ounce bottle. It has aloe vera, vitamins A and E, shea butter, and chamomile. I think that's how you say that. Y'all, Lord forgive me. Mm. Mm. I think I said that right, but I have a feeling I said it all wrong. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes, that's what this is. Let me know if you tried this because it was the first time I seen it and I really like trying to come across a really good... Um, shave product to use when I shave my legs and everything like that. So I came across these um, lip smackers. Um, this one is Mermaid Magic and um, yeah, it's just called Mermaid Magic. It's a cute little mermaid bonnet, mermaid on it, super, super cute. And then this one is in chocolate chip cookie. And then this one is um, unicorn delight. I love chapsticks. I wear them all the time. I do like my lips to stay um, hydrated and everything like that. So these were definitely on my wish list. I finally came across these Sassy and Cheek 60 piece um, nails. And it does say glue not included. And you do get a beautiful blue, a red, a pink, a teal, a green, and a yellow. Um, I definitely want to start doing my nails more often. Um, so I'm super excited to try them out. 
And then I also came across another 60 piece. And these are in lighter colors. You got an orange, a teal, a pink, a purple, a blue, and a yellow. These are definitely really more of um, Easter egg colors. So I might wear these ones around Easter time. I'm super excited to try them. Um, really a good find. Okay, so I came across this Body and Earth shampoo bar. And it's nurturing formula with argan oil and coconut oil. It is a 1.67 ounce. And it lasts up to 50 washes. Now, I do know there is an orange one and a pink one out. Um, I did not come across these, but this was on my wish list. Um, I don't know if this is colored safe or not, but it does say right on the back. not tested on animals so I really really like that because I do not like um makeup brands or anything like that that are tested on animals but I do want to give it a try and I'm going to open it up because it is in a container oh that smells really oh really really good you guys that's what this looks like. It is wrapped in, wrapped in plate paper, but you can really smell it. And the container is so cute. It got body and earth on here. And you just put it up in the case. That is just so cute. Even when the bar is finished, I will probably still use this container for something because it will just come in handy. It's super cute. Super, super cute. Okay, so y'all know how I am in love with Ayani lashes and the lash glue. You guys. They have a Ayani liquid lipstick and it's comfortable. Um, long lasting and it is a matte finish like what I did not know Ayani had lipstick products so I am definitely on the hunt to come across more of these or if this was the very first one this is in the color pink so I'm super excited to give this a whirl and um a try and it is still cruelty free um so i am super excited to try this and i will swatch it for you guys um, because like i said this color is one of my colors to use um i love this color it smells like mm, vanilla like icing or vanilla cake it smells so good. That's the wand, just a plain regular wand. It is so creamy and the color is gorgeous. I'm excited to try this. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, you guys. So besides coming across them amazing finds that I came across um, y'all are not going to believe on what I came across I came across about one two three four five six seven Maybelline lipsticks you guys you heard me seven Maybellines Okay, so I did pick up two of these Maybelline lipsticks, and they are in the same exact color. They are Fairy Forsha, and these are Bold High Pigment Lip Colors. Now, Maybelline New York 
Um, their lip products, you know, they're not they're not really cheap. Um, they're affordable, but no one wants to pay more than ten dollars if they are on a budget for a lipstick. So coming across these lipsticks right here, these are Fairy Forsha and 810. They are both the same color. I did think they were two different colors until I looked over them again once I got home and found out that they were the same color. So I think I might give one um, away as a Christmas gift, but I'm not really 100% sure yet. Um, or I might just keep it as a backup. One of the two. But I'm going to open it up and swatch it. But like I said, you guys, these are like between eight to ten and up dollars a piece just for one. Um, correct me if I am wrong on the prices. Um, but I'm super excited. I came across these. These were definitely on my wish list these are just so pretty the packaging is to die for oh it's a pretty pink yes honey i will rock that they oh i got it up my nose y'all <laughs> now I'm gonna look like a rune off, right? Mm -hmm. But that is that color. It's so pretty, you guys. I don't know what it smells like, but it does not smell like chemicals. It's like mixed with a flower scent and like a cookie scent. If that makes any sense, you guys. Okay. So. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any other repeats. No, I don't. Okay. So all of these ones are... Um, These are Rubber Bloom, and this is in Lilac Flush. And this one is 725. And I love these packagings on these ones because the color is just so pretty. Um, super excited to give them all a try. Um, but y'all, when I seen these, I was hyped. Um, they literally just brought these out because they had a whole, they literally had like a whole row filled to where none was took. I was the first to take. But I'm going to go ahead and open them all and show you what they are first before I swatch them. This is 730. This is an orchard. Orchid um, Accessory, I think. My nose is running after that lipstick got put on my nose and me aggravating it. My nose has been running. It's been getting pretty cool, except for today. It was pretty warm out. Um, this is a 705 Blushing Bug. But yes, y'all. It's been cooling down out here in Texas. Um, but today was pretty hot. Um, this week coming up, it's supposed to rain all week, which 
we really haven't had rain so I'm really okay with it raining because like I said we haven't oh sorry y'all we really haven't had rain like that and then this one is in seven four five peach peach poppy They are so hard to get out. And then this one is in 720 Power Pony. I am so ready for it to cool down. It did cool down about 20 degrees out here. Um, at night it does get to about 60 and then in the morning it gets to 60 this whole week coming up it's supposed to be in the 70s so it dropped about maybe like 30 degrees or whatnot which is bored yes 60 i can deal with 60 60 is awesome but i'm going to swatch this one first Looks like it's going to be a pretty, ooh, that's pretty. Look at that, y'all. Yes. I'm super excited for this one. This is very, very light. Super creamy. Yeah, it has that same formula, like a, a flowery, like vanilla, but it is very, very pretty. Super light, very pretty. Okay, so we will be doing this one next. 720. Power Pony. It's just a shade darker. It's a very pretty pink, like a pony color. Very pretty. Like I said, I was so excited. I came across these, you guys. Like, they're amazing. Then, we'll do this one. This is 705. Oh, this color is just so pretty. So pretty. That's definitely my shade right here to use. Very, very pretty. This one is the next one. Oh, that's nice. It's a beautiful purple. They're all very creamy. Very pretty. Okay, so I am on the last one. Oh, it is a very pretty peach color. right here very pretty colors I'm 
across all the shades right here. Very pretty. All right, y'all. So that is the ending of my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know I enjoyed making it for you guys, even though I do seem, um, you know, a little down in the video. But I am just trying to boost myself up, trying to, um, you know, not be so bummed and whatnot. But doing these videos do help me. Like I said, I've just been so busy um, doing a whole bunch of things. I love you guys. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, also hit that notification bell. Um, but I am going to go ahead and get off of here because I do have to get up early. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, stay safe. Um, I know COVID is getting pretty bad again. Definitely getting bad out here. Um, definitely in our town and stuff. About 12 people got it. Um, so, you know, it's definitely real close in the area. So, really keep yourself safe. Um, make sure you're not around people who's sick. Um, even if it's just a regular cold, um, you just want to make sure. Um, but like I said, I am going to get off of here. I love you guys so much. Um, and I would definitely be back to do another Dollar Tree haul because you guys know this girl world. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting a little tired, so my words are slurring with me. Um, I do also have some more hauls to do for you guys. It's going to be a little bit different, but that will be coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yes, y'all, I am going to get off of here because this girl is tired, um, and she just wanted to get on here to show her you know youtube family that i have not forgot about you guys and that i love you guys um but yes i'm going to get off of here i hope you guys stay safe have a great week i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend um and i will definitely be back with some more videos bye y'all love y'all